Group Captain Varun Singh, the lone survivor of Tamil Nadu chopper crash who was under treatment at Command Hospital in Bengaluru, has passed away at the hospital. In fact, uh, just uh, a short while back, uh, Indian Air Force tweeted and gave out that information. In fact, Prime Minister Narendra Modi too has tweeted on this uh, very tragic development. Uh, Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister, has uh, tweeted that Group Captain Varun Singh served the nation with pride valor and utmost professionalism. I am extremely anguished by his passing away. His rich service to the nation will never be forgotten. Condolences to his family and friends. Om Shanti. So this is uh, what uh, Prime Minister Modi has tweeted on this tragic uh, development. In fact, uh, uh, Maruf Raza is with us uh, to uh, talk a little more on this uh, tragic story that we are breaking at this hour on Mirror Now. Maruf, thank you for speaking to us and taking the time out. Uh, very, very tragic development there. He was the lone survivor. He fought for his life for almost seven days and now uh, death actually won eventually. Uh, your first reaction, what exactly do, do we know at this point in time? Well, Group Captain Varun Singh was an outstanding pilot. And I'm not saying it uh, simply because he was one of the tragic victims of this crash, but his professional record at that rank and service has had few equals. He was an instructor at Staff College Wellington, was therefore sent in to escort the CDA from Salur Air Base to Wellington, which is in Kunur. Uh, normally, such escorts are sent for any visiting VIP or person like me who has gone from time to time to give lectures there. And uh, people of Group Captain Varun Singh's rank and stature are normally designated for those officers of the rank of CDS and the service chiefs. He was the, had the option of going by road, which he did, and coming back by road, but he chose to accompany the CDS on the helicopter flight when the CDS took a decision to fly. Uh, those options were available depending on the weather. And this officer was, being an instructor at Staff College, was professionally of very high caliber. Otherwise, you don't get posted as an instructor at Staff College Wellington because you have to train the best and brightest uh, officers of the rank of Major Lieutenant Colonel and other equivalent of the other two services. He was also a winner of the Shorya Chakra for exceptional bravery as a test pilot. He was not a helicopter pilot. He was a test pilot. He was posted in Wellington and he had won the previous year a Shorya Chakra, which is the third highest gallantry award of the armed forces for piloting a test aircraft of the LCA in Bangalore back safely onto the runway after it developed a lot of faults. A lesser pilot would have probably chosen to eject from the aircraft which had developed faults and let the aircraft crash in an unpopulated area. But he chose to put his life at risk and landed that aircraft. So a really brave officer who got a gallantry award, and it's a pity he has to die when he's not flying an aircraft and die in air, uh, because while flying an aircraft, he ensured it didn't crash, but here he was one of the passengers on the flight. Also, the fact that his kind of professionals are hard to come by in the Air Force because you don't become a test pilot just because you are a fighter pilot or a flying uh, expert in the Air Force. You have to be really, really a cut above the rest. So we've lost a professional. We've lost a service officer. He had 90% burns with the crash. So I had thought from the very beginning the chances of his survival were slim. I don't know if the investigating committee that is putting the Code of Inquiry report on the crash that is based out of Bangalore, because Air Marshal Madhvinder is heading it in Bangalore, may have seen him at the hospital, and if he was able to speak, may have got some insights into the cause of the crash. Uh, but that is will be found out once the report comes out. I'm just speculating. Uh, but these are the possibilities, and these are the issues that come to mind when you hear uh, you know, Group Captain Varun Singh's sad demise for the sake of the nation and for the sake of the Air Force. But had he lived with 90% burns, I don't think he would have been able to go back to flying again. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, Maruf, uh, 
with the death of group captain uh, Singh, now the uh, death toll in this entire tragedy has risen to 14. All 14 people who were on board that uh, ill-fated helicopter are no more. No more. And a tragedy of this magnitude actually also needs immediate closure and also a speedy probe. Do you think things are actually moving in that direction? Of course. You know, there is, um, you know, one thing I'll tell you about the services having served myself in uniform. When a job is given and a timeline is given and the directions and terms of reference are given that the probe must be completed in all uh, possibilities examined by such and such date or must be completed uh, as soon as possible. There's no question of anybody dragging the feet, more so because it's an inter-service probe. So even if somebody decides to drag their feet, there are general officers and admirals from other services who will ensure that the probe is completed on time. It is not like a Sarkari inquiry or investigation that governments in India in present and past tend to order after every accident and incident. You know, that is uh, sometimes I'm being a bit blunt about it, but it's an easy way to diffuse emotion and tension and say inquiry ka jab result aega tab batayenge. But here, I'm sure the terms of reference would have included it to be completed within two weeks or one month or whatever and you'll have a full-fledged uh, report in place uh, the earliest that is humanly possible. People will be working long hours to get the report right. Right. Uh, also, Maruf, coming back to Group Captain Varun Singh, uh, and uh, in fact, um, I was just uh, reminded of all those uh, very moving visuals and pictures that we got uh, when uh, Sirius, his wife, and also Brigadier, uh, they were cremated, and at that point of time, they were very, they were very, very, they were putting a very strong front, and that is all the families of soldiers can do, isn't it? And uh, uh, if we talk about Group Captain Varun Singh's family and his loved ones, it must be so, so difficult for this uh, thing to sink in for them because I'm sure they must be hoping for some kind of miracle in this period of uh, seven and eight days. Yeah, I mean, they would be aware because he was in Bangalore and they would be given, they would be given by the hospital and the Air Force, they would be a, an LO dealing with the case, a liaison officer who would keep them posted about developments in his case. And they would have all information. And I think unlike the near relatives of those who immediately died in the crash, uh, I'm being, again, a bit blunt and objective about it. This family would have had time to prepare for the worst case scenario, which has now unfolded in the case of Group Captain Varun Singh. And I think and uh, his lady wife and the family members would, I'm hopeful, would also give us an example how soldiers must cope and their families must cope with disasters. Mrs. Litter was a case in point. I think she was a remarkable example of courage, Brigadier Litter's wife, of how she confronted the gravity of the situation and the message she gave out to the nation. I think we in India need to learn from people like her and other families you know, that there needs to be dignity in uh, how you conduct uh, the last rites of a fallen one. Uh, but it's a reality that families of soldiers are always prepared for. Um, you know, it's, I think it would be delusionary for anybody in uniform to believe that uh, gravity and a, and, a, and a grievance of this nature might not be struck on them or their family. So they live with that thought, and especially people who are wedded to frontline soldiers of pilots. Uh, Group Captain Singh was a fighter a pilot par excellence, uh, was also a test pilot. His brother, I believe, is in the Navy, posted in Mumbai. And uh, the parents, I did hear one of their, two of their commands when they heard of the news, they were heading to Bangalore to find out more. So the family is a brave family, two sons, both in uniform. And this is something you live with. Right, uh, Maru, thank you so much for taking the time out and speaking to us. What a big, a big loss this is for the entire country. In fact, Vinkar Amanda uh, Kopikar is with us uh, with the, his perspective.
Uh, Mr. Kopikar, thank you so much for taking the time out and speaking to us. First of all, your first reaction on this tragic news. It certainly is the most tragic news. Uh, it's a great loss to his immediate family, to the Defense Services Staff College, and to the Air Force as well as the nation. Having said that, to bring in a, a slightly practical note, it would have been really great, apart from everybody else concerned whom I mentioned just now, if he had lived, because he being a pilot, what he observed from the aircraft, maybe even a little before the takeoff, if there was something during the flight, from the window where he was sitting, what did he see? The weather, the clouds, the terrain around, whether there was any conversation between the pilots and the VIP on board and about the others. Because normally, if there is any kind of difficulty in operating an aircraft after it is taken off with a VIP or VVIP on board, he is kept informed. So it would have been a great help. Of course, there is the uh, uh, FDR and the CVRs, which are there to help the inquiry commission. But in addition to that, nothing like a trained eye describing what had happened. So it is definitely a great loss. My salute to him. And uh, may I offer my condolences to the family for the loss that they have suffered. As I just heard from Maruf Raza, his immediate family, his brother, etc., are also in the Navy. That's in the tradition of many of the services families. And I'm sure they will keep the tradition alive. He was indeed a great personality. Look at his record. Shaurya Chakra for landing a crippled aircraft, a test pilot, professionally extremely competent, top-notch, a very analytical mind as indicated by his posting as the directing staff, that is the instructing staff in the staff college. There could hardly be Anything more to add to his credentials? May I pray that his soul rests in peace and my condolences for the entire family. Right, uh, very, okay. very tragic news there. Uh, thank you so much, Wing Commander Shashikant Kopikar, for uh, taking the time out. Uh, a very, very difficult time for the entire country, of course. Uh, uh, we have lost another brave heart in the form of Group Captain Varun Singh. In fact, uh, our correspondent Shabir Ahmed is right now at that very spot where this unfortunate crash took place on December 8th. Uh, in fact, Shabir, uh, very tragic news. I mean, I'm just lost, uh, lost in words right now. What exactly we can say to actually uh, just explain this particular uh, development to our viewers. But uh, right now you are standing at that crash site. If you can just refresh the memories of uh, our viewers, what exactly Gauri. happened on that unfortunate day? Gauri, I am at uh, Chennai Secretariat. Uh, and, uh, you know, the news uh, that is coming in at this point in time, is extremely devastating because uh, the entire country was praying for uh, the speedy recovery of uh, Group Captain uh, Varun Singh. And uh, this uh, unfortunate uh, uh, bit of information has uh, shattered everyone. In fact, uh, uh, people were hopeful that uh, Group Captain uh, uh, Varun Singh will uh, uh, make it and he will, uh, uh, you know, come out of the hospital. Uh, in fact, he was uh, one of uh, uh, the first persons uh, to be uh, rescued uh, from uh, uh, Nanjapa Chattaram, where uh, the top of the army carrying uh, uh, CDS uh, Bipin Rawat crashed. Uh, uh, the local villagers uh, were the first ones to uh, rescue uh, 
uh, group captain uh, Varun Singh, and uh, he was taken to the military hospital. Even uh, at that time, uh, you know, the doctors uh, who were treating uh, uh, Varun Singh were hopeful that, uh, uh, you know, they can uh, give him some advanced treatment uh, and uh, he will uh, bounce back uh, 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 once again. Uh, uh, but, uh, you know, his condition uh, at the hospital uh, remained critical. Uh, though the uh, officers were saying that uh, uh, he was, uh, uh, though the though the officers were uh, uh, saying that his condition was, uh, uh, you know, uh, critical, uh, uh, they were hoping that uh, the treatment will uh, yield uh, some results, and uh, and and uh, Group Captain Varun Singh uh, uh, will be out of the hospital. Uh, according to Tamil Nadu Health Department officers, whom we have been interacting uh, from, they have told us that uh, he gained 80. Uh, uh, injuries and burn injuries uh, and uh, his condition was extremely critical and that's why he was moved out of uh, the Wellington Hospital so that uh, advanced treatment can be provided to him. He was taken uh, uh, to the Army Hospital in Bengaluru and my colleague Imran and uh, uh, Deepak, both of them have been reporting about uh, his uh, health condition uh, time and again. But this bit of uh, information that, uh, that the IAF has put out has once again devastated uh, uh, the people of this country who are hoping, who are praying that Group Captain Varun Singh recovers at the earliest. But this is a huge uh, uh, loss for the country. And uh, in fact, uh, we just uh, we were talking uh, to the uh, army commander, the Dakshin Bar area uh, uh, officers uh, in Chennai. They were they were having a press conference. In fact, uh, you know, uh, in on all our queries uh, from the reporters. It was regarding uh, uh, Varun Singh, Group Captain Varun Singh. In fact, everyone wanted to know about his uh, condition and everyone uh, uh, were inquiring about the same. And minutes after that, uh, we get this information that uh, uh, Group Captain Varun Singh is no more. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, Shabir, uh, pardon my error, you are right now at Chennai uh, Secretariat and giving us uh, all those crucial information. But Shabir, uh, right after this casual uh, with Group Captain Varun Singh uh, passing away in this tragic incident. Again, the spotlight is back on the probe of this entire incident. Any update on that front? Where exactly is it heading? Well, as far as the, uh, the Army officers are concerned, they say that uh, they cannot uh, uh, give us an exact uh, time frame as to when this probe will be completed. Uh, but they are uh, probing in all angles and uh, the flight data recorder that was retrieved uh, by the army personnel uh, uh, immediately after the rescue and relief operations. Uh, uh, they are hoping that, uh, you know, the flight data recorder will uh, throw some more light as to mm -hmm. what exactly happened. Uh, and right, also Shabir. the video that was shot by the uh, local uh, uh, tourist uh, has become a crucial evidence. Mm -hmm. uh, and right, uh, Shabir, uh, uh, really sorry to interrupt you, but some big breaking news coming in right now.